very good morning to all of you welcome to anb exam forum student in the crack csir soaso 23 series we are bringing the previous year question and in today's session we are going to cover 10 questions from english and reading comprehension right so without wasting time let's uh, begin the session so the key take away of this session would be like this as i told you we are going to cover 10 questions so that you also don't uh, feel very hectic uh, in this session okay the second important key take away would be the important topics that is required to cover for this particular exam okay although we have the syllabus but what they have given in the past exam based on that you can prepare your exam accordingly okay so let's see the first question so the question says let's begin the timer also identify the sentence with the correct usage okay so these are the four sentence let's see one by one practice makes a man perfect yes this is very right i don't find any error in this particular sentence so this should be the correct let's see the other option why they are not correct practice makes a man perfect this 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 is the error okay a good advice should be practiced okay student and if we if you see the next uh, option also teachers advise the student okay so this advice and advice are improperly used why because as you know this advice with s is basically a verb okay whereas with c that is a d v i c e it is a noun okay so here teachers advise the student it should be s not c because verb represents some action okay the word advice means act of giving suggestion okay so here it should be s here it should be c so that's why they are not correct okay so the correct answer for this question should be option 1 and option 1 is the correct answer so those who have given option 1 as their answer they are correct okay let's see the next question and your time starts now identify the passive voice usage in the sentence below okay so basically you need to tell which of the following is the passive voice sentence okay so as you know uh, there are two voice first one is active and other one is passive okay so in passive focus is on action okay focus is on action rather than the subject who is performing it okay so let's see in which of the following focus is in on action okay the movie was seen by millions okay so first we have this action itself so option 1 straight away is the correct answer here let's see the other option radha wrote the homework so focus is on subject who is performing so this is active krishna played the garden played in the garden so this is again a subject who is performing some action so it is again active so this is not passive bcci cancelled the cricket match again focus is on bcci not uh, the cancellation process so this is also incorrect so option 1 is the correct answer okay let's see the next question and your time starts now the question says rama said please give me a pen okay this is in direct as you if you know some english grammar so this is in direct speech okay so you need to convert this into indirect speech okay so there are certain rules i will not tell you in this video what are the rules okay so the thing is that in direct you just report the same word given by the or spoken by the person okay you are uh, rama said please give me the pen so this is the straight exact word 
uh, said by the Rama. Okay, but in indirect speech, not exact word uh, will be told by the person. Okay, so let's see what should be the correct indirect speech for this question. Okay, so Rama said that he may be uh, given a pen. Okay. Rama asked for a pen. Okay. Rama asked that pen may be given to him. Okay. Rama may be given uh, a pen was asked. Okay. If you see all of uh, are looking to be okay, but straight away you can reject this one because some please word is there. So please should be there. Okay. So we have three option again. This is uh, not correct. Uh, why it is not correct? because this is a request type of thing and here there is no request so this you can eliminate so you have option 1 and option 3 option 1 and option 3 both are correct grammatically but one is more appropriate because he, because it is a request okay so rama said he may please be given a pen uh, would be better rather than straight away telling that rama asked or you can other way interpret it like he has asked instead of said he have used the word asked so that's why we are putting it as an incorrect okay there can be different logic but the correct answer should be one and the one is the correct answer okay let's see the next question student uh, in this particular exam uh, in year 2013 they have asked about collective nine also okay so you have to tell the correct collective noun for the grapes okay as you know generally as a person uh, who are not very good in english uh, they generally do a lot of mistake in collective noun right so this is the uh, question for them okay so as you know the collection of collective noun for the grape is what bunch of grapes okay so let's see the correct answer yes it's option two whereas if you see the other option pack of grapes it is not pack of grapes it is pack of wolves wolf is the animal na? so pack of wolf the other one are not appropriate hand of anything can be there as per the requirement okay so you should know the collective noun of some animal some object some places uh, okay like uh, if I ask you what is the collective noun for the ship okay and this is a very common one or aircraft the collective noun or the group of ships which are standing at some location it is called a fleet of ship okay this is one example that I am giving you you can learn a lot uh, in the grammar book okay a fleet of ships okay so let's uh, do not waste time in uh, uh, learning this thing okay so let's see the question first which is the word in which letters are alphabetic order very simple one okay so we have to see the uh, alphabetic order in this particular words so b c d e so here d has come later so this is wrong a r r a r a and e have come later so this is wrong uh, so again G R O P E D again if you see that the last they have come later so this is wrong if you go with E F O R T okay so this is in serial order alphabetical order so option 4 is the correct answer a very simple one okay let's see the next question a very good one this is from the idiom and phrases so if you see my lectures what i told you whenever idiom is there don't go with the direct meaning so beating a hasty retreat okay retreat has two meaning okay one uh, as you know one is uh, a retreat means walking fastly okay but the other thing is uh, uh, that it is a very peaceful you must have seen in republic day beating the retreat that is uh, the other meaning so playing drum fast is a straight meaning and it should not be the answer okay uh, fast again hasty mean fast okay so fast again 
cannot be the right okay heart beats when running backward okay anyhow uh, idioms at least you should uh, have a look on uh, uh, your vocab uh, if they are asking the idiom okay so based on the judgment it is very difficult to answer so, okay so you need to uh, learn a lot you need to practice and practice the key in english okay so for this beating a hasty retreat uh, if you don't know just remember it is withdrawing one attack suddenly okay so option for those who have given well and good they are doing a great in vocab Vo okay so option 4 is the correct answer i know idioms are lot in english but uh, you need to practice a lot okay so let's see the next question the correct antonym of prosperity a very simple one the correct antonym means opposite prosperity means to flourish okay whereas the adversity okay straight away option 1 is the correct one adversity is uh, what adversity is when you are not having the favorable condition okay prosperity means you have very favorable condition and you are flourishing okay let's see the other word why they are uh, incorrect in prosperity and on prosperity there are no such words so these are wrong introspection is uh, something you are doing internally to analyze yourself so again this is wrong so option 1 is the correct answer okay let's see the next question again uh, as you can see the collective noun for mosquitoes again they have asked collective noun so student go for a list of collective noun for this particular exam they might repeat the same pattern in year 2023 also okay so generally we uh, i i told you earlier that we generally go with a lot of mosquito but the correct one is the swarm of mosquito okay it is swarm of mosquito it can be swarm of any thing else like swarm of bees is also correct okay swarm of uh, repellents also correct okay so the correct answer for this question is option 2 swarm of mosquito okay now there is one other nowadays in defense sector it is swarm of uavs okay so swarm is a group of uavs but it is uh, the word they have given in the english okay that's it okay okay let's see the next question i think this is the last question i guess uh, the error in the sentence much water have flown under the bridge okay uh it is very confusing i know some people say it is much uh, uh waters is nothing okay but still since it is uh, uncountable okay so uh it much is appropriate and whereas have flown uh under the bridge okay uh, it it is looking okay but student there is a error in this word it should be flowed because already it has passed under the bridge so flowed is appropriate so flown is the error in the sentence so option 3 is the right answer okay let's see the next question okay so we have one more question i guess which of the following sentence is wrongly punctuated student again this punctuation if you see the syllabus they have ask so punctuation is also another topic that you need to do it carefully and uh, it is a very easy one okay so have you had a dinner again yes yeah, this is properly punctuated with question mark okay this is a question mark i am fine uh, said the ram it is uh, direct speech and quotations this is okay what a terrible fire is this is exclamatory it is a surprise correct it is an exclamation only he inquired whether i had finished my book again a question mark so the student this question mark is not there okay it should not be there why it is because it is straight away sentence he inquired whether i had finished my book okay uh, generally we do uh, this type of mistake in english but this should not be the punctuated okay this is a normal assertive sentence okay just to tell uh, he I means he is inquiring whether i had finished my work he is not asking me right so option 4 is the correct answer 
so option four is the correct answer okay so student we have seen 10 questions in english and the key takeaway of session that i told you that uh, these are the important topics that you need to cover active passive direct indirect punctuation collective noun these are relatively simple as compared to other okay so just go with these two uh, you might hit one or two question active passive is again a simple one um, but sometimes they can bluff you okay error idiom phrase synonym antonyms uh, these are huge topic but if you practice you can easily make the answers okay so that's it student uh, thank you for watching and if you have anything to say you can write in our comment box we will be very happy to answer that question thank you for watching have a nice day